Hey everybody, welcome to Daily Grace. It's Monday, February 15th, and if you're new to Daily Grace, what we do is we try to just reinforce the same ideas that we're talking about on Sunday on Grace Live. So yesterday we began a series called The Hookup, and the title of the sermon was Why Hookup? And what I want to talk about specifically today, because focused on identity yesterday, what is the Bible? The Bible basically is a book about identity. We really want to know who we are. I remember growing up as a kid, I heard this song. It had a kind of a catchy tune and words that went with it, so it really stuck with me. It's called, Who Are You? I've got the lyrics here on the laptop pulled up. I'd like to read just a couple to you. See if you remember the song, Who Are You? Who, 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 who? I think the who, 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 who kind of really stuck with me, but Here's what the verse says. I woke up in a Soho doorway. I never knew what Soho meant. I know you guys know a lot more than I do, but Soho is simply in New York City. It's everything south of Houston Street. South of Houston. That's Soho. So the writer here says, I woke up in a Soho doorway. A policeman knew my name. He said, you can go sleep at home tonight if you can get up and walk away. And then it goes on, well, who are you? Who are you? I really want to know. That is what the Bible is about. It's about identity. It shows us our identity first, but then it says to us in the storyline of the Bible, here is what happens when you're unclear about your identity, when you're confused, when you're deceived about your identity, when the world comes along and like stomp, stomp, stomps on the identity that God has given each one of us. There's a very important verse of scripture. It's found in 1 Peter chapter 2. This is what it says. This is, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. I want to stop before I, I, I finish because it gets into some other really good stuff. You're a priesthood. What was a priest? A priest was a person who was supposed to reflect God's character to the rest of the world, that all of us are called to do that to reflect God's character, to be that bridge. Many times Jesus Christ in Scripture is, is described as a bridge linking God and humanity. And we are to step into that likeness. What we're creating by our identity is to kind of come along and build on that and also to be that royal priesthood. So this is, this is my identity. This is who I am meant to be. We're God's special possession that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. What's darkness? Darkness in scripture is not knowing. Like when all the lights are out and I really can't see, like I can't see my hand in front of my face. I don't know what's out there. I don't know what's in the room. So light is knowing or being clear on my identity. Darkness is me not knowing. So I'm walking around in terrible darkness and how do I get that out of that darkness? I get out of that darkness by knowing. So this is what this entire week is going to be about, and it is so important. Identity, it all begins with identity. As Soren Kierkegaard said, as I started yesterday's sermon off with, the most common form of despair is when we don't know who we are. Let's pray. God, during this week, help us as we journey together to know exactly who we are, because if we don't, we're going to live in despair. So show us the truth. Let us walk in the light. In Christ's name. Amen. See you tomorrow. Tuesday's edition of Daily Grace.